What's up, Scrollgers? Welcome to another episode of Scrolls Top 5 Plays of the Week. Remember to send your top Scrolls plays to nerfthenage at gmail.com to be featured in this series and win some extra gold. Without further ado, here are the Top 5 Plays of the Week. Leading off is a play by Danatron1. All to Dust played an Escalon Spires, which means when a unit gets destroyed, they'll be resummoned on the same tile. That is why he feels safe protecting an Ido with only two 2 health creatures. Unfortunately for him, Danatron did his homework and knew that Escalon Spires follows the attack order. Danatron quakes, and his units are resummoned, while his opponents are all to dust. Next is a play by yours truly, in a rank match versus Ansirad. My rats and wolves are facing down three knights about to attack, and a skirmisher ready to slay anything in its path. I wasn't even able to destroy any idols yet. The match looks very bleak for me, until this draw. The ragged wolf double crimson bull to destroy three idols was incredibly lucky, and something that Ansirad wasn't expecting so he wasn't protecting his idols. Plays like these are why we often hear everybody hates growth. This next play by Pyrobellum showcases the explosiveness of Undead Decay, specifically Irva, Voice of the Dead. It is a Decay vs Decay battle, with both players close to victory. Because there is a Pillar Fatigue on the board, Pyrobellum's Harvester and Irva will get increased countdown if they move, and his army of Myra Shamblers will try to move when they attack as well. Pyrobellum sees a big play incoming. He moves his Harvester, which does make it have countdown 1, and then also adjusts his units and boxes those Meyer Shamblers in so they're attacking that top idol. And he plays a Restless Bones, which decreases the countdown of his undead units and increases their attack by two. The Harvester makes multiple relentless attacks, which makes the Urva keep on attacking, and all those Meyer Shamblers also are undead, so the Urva will continue to attack. The two Shamblers take out the top idol and Irva takes out the bottom idol. Pyrobellum takes the victory with a huge undead play. The last play demonstrated the power of Decay's new waypoints unique creature, Irva. But this play showcases the power of the Order's new waypoints unique creature, Rulleros. Lord Knight. Believe it or not, this is a Judgment match. Two very powerful order decks going at it. Because this is Judgment, the likelihood that Smogin had a displacement spell like Flip to move the Gallant Defender and increase Relaros' damage to destroy the idol behind it is not very high. But he still has to find some way to either win or protect himself from the onslaught that comes down next turn. Smogin moves around to position himself. He plays a roasted bean potion on his Rolleros to give it an extra move, and it's a spell so the skirmisher's attack gets increased by one, and then another spell, the Fields of Strife, which increases the attack by one and gives Rolleros an extra attack, and then finally an Eternal Sword to give the skirmisher two more attack to have just enough damage to finish off the idol and take the win. You don't often see combos like that come up in Judgment, so this is truly an awesome play. Number one on the countdown is in a ranked match between myself and Honor the Otter. Just from a quick glance at the board, you can see that my tempo order deck is killing it. It looks like I have another win in the bank in just a few turns. But then, a Bloodline Taint inflicts Curse 2 on all of my creatures. Not the end of the world, right? Honor of the Otter's Pillar Fatigue was preventing me from ending the game quickly, as his Eager Strider drew more scrolls and allowed him to ramp up. And then another Bloodline Taint inflicts all my creatures with Curse 4. 
Now, I was getting nervous. I was finally able to clear his board. I was going to win next turn. But you guys know what's coming next. On of the Otter plays a Baleful Witch, which obliterates my board. He was able to get the icing on the cake of the comeback, and with his increased wrap from his Eager Scar, he was able to sail to a victory. That's it for today. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more content like this. Congratulations to Aunt of the Otter, who I just noticed has his name probably as a parody off of scrolls like Sister the Fox and Brother the Wolf. Remember to submit your place to nerfthenja at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and keep on scrolling, scrollers.